Hello and welcome to this episode. Uh, we are going to use this image to create our picture quotes. Um, I believe you know how to clear your background on this image. All right, I click on the image in the layer to select all. Meanwhile, I'm holding down my control button. Then I select feather, remove the feather too. And I press the backspace to clear the background once again. I've cleared the background, but I'm just clearing it again. And um, that's done. When that is done, you I go straight to uh, cleaning this, balancing these images. I discovered the hand part is a kind of the color isn't good, so I'm going to. going to try to blend in it and now I'm using a dodge tool uh, meanwhile when I press alternate the function of the dodge tool changes to opposite okay now I'm going to set my I'm going to set my stamp tool to use it I reduce the flow and the opacity so that the stamp will be very minimal now to use the stamp you click on your alternate you hold down your alternate and click at a particular place to pick up the stamp all right the same way your stamp tool works your stamp in your offices works that's how this stamp in the photoshop works also you snap at a particular color then you use it to treat the other side as you are moving you should be pressing alternate key and be snapping so that you will be snapping the nearest color to the place you are pasting the stamp all right you can see that there's a lot of changes here already there are a lot of changes here already and uh, uh, we are moving on we are moving on uh, this place seems to be kind of dark so I'm going to use a dot tool once more to add lightning a little lightning to it all right now I just duplicated the image by pressing ctrl J or you can right click on the layer and, double, and okay I want to show you the before and after so I'm going to snap here all right i'm going to snap then i move up to the very beginning and click on it you can see this is the before this is the after this is the before and the after all right that's right uh okay the eye tool here works by hiding the layer below okay though i'm not doing a more not doing much with the layer so let me just hide it then I want to size the image now you have you have to put your own parameters filling your own parameters okay now this isn't so good I am going to make it even yeah let's use five by five so that when I'll be pasting them even on whatsapp it will appear uniform okay when you use an even parameter that is the same length and same height okay now you position the image the way you want it to be when that is done you go up and click the good button so or you press OK. All right, uh, I'm going to work on the image a little by using my free transformation tool. You can get the free from transformation tool shortcuts. Just Control T. All right, I'm trying to make the image at the edge to give way to where I will write text. Okay. I remember our purpose of this image is creating a quote. All right. 
this is okay let me just bring it down using the resize button again um, the crop tool once again to make I really want it to be small uh, that's okay select the the selection tool or by pressing J so you can use it to move the images around your screen okay if you want to move the whole images you can hold down your space bar while you click all right I want to change the background of this image now uh, that's a picture adjustment to let's go to gradients yes click on the drop down to select different gradients of your choice uh, there are, you can actually create your gradients okay we'll be using this one for this practice uh, okay I'm trying to show you that there are a lot of sliders and checks you can use here okay uh, uh, check this one out okay you can see this is radial Alright, you can see them clearly. Just choose invert also makes it place it at the opposite. Okay, just choose the one that suits you and you are good to go. Let me change the angle also. I'll change the angle also. Okay, now drag the layer up to make it appear first remember the layer at the top will be the one displaying in front okay i want to change the color once again i just clicked on the color then the color appeared again i want to change the color no i don't like this uh -huh. okay we'll be using this one we'll be using this one I want to make the green color appear below the leg it's far more better than using the the red color let's leave it like this let's see what we've got that's all right i want to change i want to add another color this time solid color go back to my adjustment tool then i select any color of my choice meanwhile this is a picture quote i have to choose a dull color all right so that the color will just come and swallow the test up sure you get in this kind of then you don't need a, a shouty color no you don't need a shouty color like this you have to go down and choose a dull color dull color works perfect for this kind of task so your test can also pop all right remember to play around those okay let me just play a little fast forward here so we can get this whole thing done now just playing around the colors remember to play choose any color of your choice uh, and um, when you are done let's use this when you are done just hit the ok button okay yep that's okay then i'm going to reduce the opacity here by reducing the fill or the opacity anyone you want all right you can see i'm reducing it and the one the image below is appearing okay let's use the invite to make the green and the foot i think it's better this way yeah it's it's better that's okay uh reduce the the feel to make it even you know you can see when you increase the slider you make the feel 100 percent it will display completely when you reduce it 
it will be reducing and giving way for the image below or the picture below to display okay that's it that's it that's it in the next section we are going to see how we are going to add text and format our tests all right